Hey there, my name is Trevor and I have the privilege of helping you get set up with live streaming for your Android device. AirData does support live streaming for both iOS and Android, but today is specifically for you Android users. This video is a pretty in-depth walkthrough, so feel free to use this guide if you want to jump to a specific section. In this video, I'll go ahead and download the AirData app from the Play Store. Once inside the app, I'll navigate over to the live streaming section, where I'll show you some of the options you have when setting up a live stream. We'll go ahead and set up a live stream, and then we'll jump to the media player, which is where we can view the stream that we set up. Lastly, I'll show you how to share the live stream with a third party who isn't an AirData account owner, and that way they can view that live stream as well. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when setting up a live stream is download the AirData UAV app from the Play Store. You can download the app to DJS Crystal Sky or the Smart Controller as well. There are plenty of tutorials out there showing you how to download third-party apps to those devices. For this video, I'll download the app to my tablet. I would recommend that you download the app to the phone or tablet that you're using to fly the drone with, as that's how you start a live stream. Let's go ahead and hit install here. And when we open the app for the first time, we're gonna get a little prompt here. It says, allow AirData UAV to access this device's location. I'd strongly recommend that you hit allow as when we start a live stream, AirData uses the GPS from your phone or tablet and embeds it into the live stream. So when you send that link to a third party, they can see exactly where you're streaming from. Pretty cool. We'll hit allow. And we can also allow AirData to access our photos, media files, if you aren't already logged into your AirData account, you're going to need to do that. You can tap on those three lines on the top left-hand corner. I'm already logged in here, so I can exit that. If you look there at the bottom right, you'll see the Start button. I'll tap that. That brings us to this screen. In the middle section, we have Live Streaming. We'll go there. Very good. Now, AirData wants to take pictures and record video. We'll allow that as well. Lastly, they want to record audio. Now, we come to this screen here, which is where we set up the live stream. It's as easy as tapping on that Start Screen Capture Streaming button right there in the middle. We have some options that we can choose to configure before starting that live stream. If you notice at the top of the screen there, it says Live Streaming and then RTMP URL. We're currently under Live Streaming and basically, as we sit right here, if I were to hit start screen capture streaming, AirData is going to screen capture everything that's on our phone or tablet screen. And it's going to live stream that to the media player. What that means is when I hit that button there, it's going to capture everything I do. I can be inside the AirData app. I can be on my home screen of my tablet. I can be inside the DJI Go 4 app. It's going to record everything that my tablet is showing. So keep that in mind when deciding when setting up your live stream, what you want the viewer to see. We do have the option of just showing the viewer on the other end of the stream, what your drone camera is seeing. If we want to do that, we tap on the RTMP URL there at the top of the screen. I'll do that. And you're going to see a custom link. This link we're going to, put into the DJI Go 4 app. Once it's in the app there, we can actually stream what our drone camera is seeing to that media player where any third party that you send the link to can view that stream. Pretty cool. So it basically depends on what you're using the live streaming for. If you want the user on the other end to see all of the flight telemetry that is displayed on the DJI Go 4 app, then maybe choose the live streaming screen capture option. I wanna talk about screen capture options we have here. If you note there, you have the option to change the resolution by tapping on that little drop down menu. You can choose whatever screen resolution you'd like. I'll leave it at 1920 by 1080. You can enable tablet microphone recording. If you want the user on the other end of that live stream to be able to hear your audio, whether you want to talk into the, the phone or tablet, or you want the user to be able to hear the surrounding sounds. Also, I would recommend leaving it on auto bandwidth, okay? 
at this point, I can go ahead and hit start screen capture streaming and Air Data will let you know that they are gonna record everything that's displayed on your device screen. I'll hit start now. Now the live stream that we set up is currently being displayed on the media player. The media player can be accessed by going to two different locations. The first is in the main dashboard when you log into your Air Data account. If you see up here, I'm in the home tab. Right here we have live streams. I can go ahead and click on that live stream and that's gonna open up the stream that we set up on that tablet just a moment ago. Another location that you can view your live streams from is over here under the media tab. Under the media tab you see live streaming. I'll go ahead and click on this and here we are. We're now looking at the media player. I'll go ahead and walk you through some of the options we have starting at the top left here. It shows you the streaming pilot which is me currently and the streaming location. This is what I was talking about when we allowed AirData to access our current location. What's nice about this is I can actually click on this and it's going to bring up a Google map view. So it gives the viewer an exact location of where we're streaming from. It's pretty nice. I'll close that. If we navigate over to the right here, this little share icon, we can click on that. And that's how we would share this stream with a third party who is not an Air Data user. I'll close this for now. And the next one over here to the right, we have player options. So you see FLV. If I click on this little icon, you guys can toggle through the three of these players and see what works best for you. Note that the JPG player does work on any device. You see here this little note. That means that someone could open the stream on their phone and they can see exactly what you're streaming. We'll go ahead and close the player options. And the right hand side here, we click on that. And that just brings up some more options. We can access other parts of the Air Data app. Also, you can retrieve your custom RTMP URL from this section, okay? So we'll go ahead and bring up our tablet here where we started our live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my home screen of my tablet. And you see the home screen of my tablet is displayed on both the tablet and the live stream as well. I can scroll through my tablet and look at that. So like I was saying, we are doing this screen capture mode. Everything that my tablet screen is displaying, the live stream is displaying. Let's jump into what that looks like in the DJI Go 4 app. Okay, here we are now inside the DJI Go 4 app. And as you can see, everything being shown on the tablet is also being shown on the desktop here on our live stream. Pretty cool, so you can see all of the flight telemetry. This may come in handy if the viewer on the other end of the stream has a working knowledge of DJI Go 4. They can make out what all of the telemetry means, all the numbers and symbols. If on the other hand, you just want them to see the camera view of the drone, we would use the RTMP URL. I wanna note here, this is how we would share this stream with a third party who does not have an Air Data account. If you see here at the top right, we have a little share icon. You tap on that and we would copy this link here. So I hit copy and make note of this pin because this pin is what you're gonna give that third party viewer so they can access the stream. I'll go ahead and open up a browser I'm not logged into to show you what that looks like. Okay, so here I am in a new browser and it's asking for that pin. I'll go ahead and put it in now. And there it is, there's the stream. So they essentially have the same view that you would have when you're logged into your media player. The only difference is they can't share this stream. If you notice the share icon is no longer there. So if you want to share the stream with another third party user, you would need to share it yourself. You notice that they still have control of the player that they use here. They still have the location and the streaming pilot as well. So that's how you would share a stream. Okay, you've made it to the end and you're now a live streaming expert. If you're having trouble or you have questions with certain parts of the live streaming process, I strongly recommend that you check out AirData's resources page 
where you can find a forum, FAQs, and contact info to help you get along your way. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you around.